self-confessed cat lovers will know that many cats which are adopted come from shelters. They are cats which may have been lost or maltreated, but many are simply abandoned as soon as they are born. Adopting a cat in this way is a noble and loving act. If you have adopted a kitten, then it may be difficult to distinguish the characteristics at such a young age. Once they have grown into adulthood or have been adopted as adults, they will begin to assume the physical characteristics they will have for the rest of their lives. Once this happens, it is normal to want to know about the breed of the animal and what differences they have with other cats. To help satiate your curiosity, Animal Wise has prepared this video on how to identify your cat's breed. Before we do, feel free to go to our page and subscribe for more information about everything cat related. Whether you've just adopted a cat or you're taking them for a regular checkup, speaking to your vet is always a good idea. They should be expert on different cat breeds and may discover some clues about the origin of your cat from their physical characteristics. If you do not know what your cat's breed looks like, you can examine their features and physiognomy by looking at the following. After looking closely at the physical characteristics of your feline, Look for photos of cats similar to them in our galleries of breed images on the Animal Wise website. Maybe you will notice some specific traits that help you out in your search. Also, take a look at the groups and breeds of cats established by the FIFE, the International Feline Federation. We list these cats one by one so you can see which cat may best resemble your own. Group 1 belongs to Persian and exotic cats, all of which share as main characteristics small ears and a dense coat. These cats can be medium or large in size. The breeds that compromise this category are... In the second group, we find cats with a semi-long coat, usually accompanied by a thick tail. Felines in this category may have large or small ears, depending on the breed, and may also be of large or medium size. The cats belonging to the third group have short and fine coats as their main characteristic. They have large ears and a strong musculature. The tail can be thick or thin, as well as long. This category is designated for Siamese and Eastern cats. Some of these breeds are even known to have such a fine coat that they blend with the skin or don't have any at all. However, one of the main characteristics of this group is their elongated posture, their small ears and a thick or thin tail. This group is intended for breeds of cat which are not yet recognised by the International Feline Federation. So, do you think you know your kitty's origin? Tell us all about it in the comments below. If you found this video helpful and want to know more about looking after your cat, subscribe to our channel for more informative videos, and we'll see you next time.